Okie doke. Hello again, guys. It's me, Sydney. More work on the house has been done. Probably my last for a while, unless I have a good connection where I'm heading. I'm in my little space marine uniform that I've been working on for a while. All shiny and Booty. Yeah, it's a little bit. Whatever. So, the outside of the house has been mildly changed. It'll be more noticeable, I guess, later on in the video, but completely taken out the side yard again. The office is now floating. I think Frank would like steel beams and all that. The basement has gotten a lot more natural light in the bedrooms because it was just too dark for no reason. That's about all that's changed outside. Give you a good look at what's out here still good. It's been a while. Water feature. Mini porch. Still don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I like it there still. Plant feature, driveway, garage, two-car garage, the lights. The ground entry to the foyer. The foyer's been closed off a little bit more. It's a little dark. Really good. I can probably just fix that with some lighting. These are just can lights that I have so going straight down and boring. Um, the mudroom here has been slightly altered. I can't, probably can't fit a bench here as you can see. Uh, this is one person standing here. If, if they were to sit at a bench there would probably be not much room to get into a closet. So like if I sat up against that wall there. So I'm probably just going to extend the closet a bit more and close this off. That'll create a huge closet for really no reason, but I don't see why I wouldn't do it. I mean, more closet space is more closet space. Put a sink here to make it an actual mud room. Not a big sink, just something to wash. Something small. In. The garage hasn't changed too much. The two Mini Coopers are still here. Um, the workbench has been put in. Closet space. Yeah, it's a little hobbyist garage, I guess, now. He wants to work on his car. No, I'm kidding. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there's really still no focal point when entering, but whatever. There's a lot of dead space and that, whatever I'm going to do with that. But I've moved to the dining room from there, I think, to there. So you get a little space to look at outside. Uh, the, shr the kitchen's been shrunken down immensely because it was just way too big before. The bar area is here. Breakfast bar. Mm. Get you a good at, good at the kitchen real quick. It's not too bad. I like the shape now. Um, it's coming together. Still no textures. There's a lot of cabinetry to finish up. As you can see, there's like just empty space underneath that one still. And these cabinets are just hardly put together. There's only going to be six floating or hanging cabinets, I guess we call them, on cupboards. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's plenty for me. I don't. I wouldn't need any more than that in the house, especially with all this like floor level storage. Pantry's still here. Appliances, the sink, natural lighting, fridge, trash, and recycling, and then taking trash out through here, and stove, possible spot for a hood, yeah, that's the kitchen. Entertainment living room, I'm not sure what else you can call it, is here now, based on the layout that I had back at my um, apartment. It's pretty small, but comfortable. There's going to be some stuff here, stuff here as well. I just don't know what I want to put there. Definitely some more seating, of course, but like, what kind of... Fireplace is still here. room has been moved slightly to about the same size. 
don't know what I'm going to do with the civil space before we jump off, but um, probably just a bookcase or something small. Nothing important. I really don't want to extend the powder room any further because, well, why? It's a powder room. And of course, I like my little sunken area to be for board game nights and stuff. Just an entertaining area in general to hang out. And yes, I love carpet. I know I broke up the area downstairs in carpet, but I prefer carpet over hardwood or tile. I like vacuuming. I'm um, probably weird. So let's head upstairs. There's not been much changed up. No, right. So I put the there has not been much changed upstairs. Ooh, planar clipping. Oh, this area is still dead space. I haven't really thought of what to do with it yet. At all. But it exists. My mom had suggested, like, um, a reading corner here. Take up that space, which could be nice. Place to sit between those and all that. The balcony, or rooftop area, whatever you want to call it. Entertaining spot still here. The garden has shrunken down just a tiny bit. The greenhouse has been pushed out a bit. An orange tree. Some peaches. It's oranges. No, they're peaches. Um, the shed. Put all your gardening stuff in here. Ooh, there's a gap in here. I guess the greenhouse got a little bit more space now because I can push it out. Cool. Dumb, dumb waiter still here for putting the veggies into the kitchen. Oh yeah, when I was in the kitchen. Oh, that one cupboard above the trash can has actually the chute for that. One entry into the office is there. Probably leave that undoor. French doors into the bedroom, which has been upgraded a bit. Vaulted ceiling. Mildly vaulted. It's, it's cute that way. I'm putting these little cubbies on both sides. It adds to it a little bit. I kind of like it. It's cute. Probably not going to have a dresser in that spot, but it works there for now. The walk-in closet has been... Ooh, I can't walk. The walk-in closet has been expanded a little bit. Plenty of space for an actual walk-in closet now. And the laundry that I plan on having in here as well for the upstairs laundry. Yes, there will be two laundries in this house, or laundry rooms, because this is this is pretty much the owner's suite, my suite, mine and the hubby, whenever that whenever that happens. <laughs> Nobody comes up here for any reason, just us. The balcony's been expanded a little bit, not too much, because I don't really need a balcony, but it's nice to have. I shrunk down the bathroom a bit because it was unnecessarily large. Double vanity. Urinal, normal toilet. Yeah. Inside the water closet. Yeah, I like urinal. Shut up. <laughs> the shower's been starting to come together. Rainfall. Probably not going to keep the shape or anything, and definitely not keeping the texture, but the texture's just there for a placeholder to let me know, hey, that's a shower. The um, large tub, still here. Not just the sink on the vanity. I don't like it. I don't know. I might do something with that. The sunroom slash office is here. Connected off the bathroom. Let's head down to the basement. Oh, wait. Yeah, these are still here. Still got that pretty decent view. Yeah, I like the view. And as you can see, the bathroom does have a window. Or two, actually. I don't care much for privacy, as you can probably tell by all the windows here. Let it all hang out with the daily backer shwiggle. Whatever that means. <laughs> so the basement's been changed considerably. The entertainment area, family room, whatever you want to call it, has been shrunken down. The upstairs one would be more for entertaining guests and just like hanging out with your friends. This is more an intimate space for the family, hanging out, playing games with them, get, 
this getting together. Uh, this is laundry room number two, which is also a powder room, so powder room, laundry room together. This is the official basement area where you would store possibly your water heater, your furnace, anything like that, and stuff you just want to keep out of the way for the normal daily use. Oh yeah, all the furniture, textures, and everything is just placeholder. So, yeah, that ugly thing is not staying, it's just there. To give me an idea of like, what I'm going to do with the space. The gym has been shrunk down considerably to make room for another bedroom. This is now a four bedroom house with four full baths, two half baths. Yes. <laughs> um, still, still space for a hobby section if you want to do something with that. But yeah, it's mostly just a gym section. The long hallway. It's boring, but I can work on that. Bedrooms one and two for the kids, or whatever, kids, teens, whatever you want to put down here. You could even make these into other non-bedroom rooms. They're all big enough for a queen and two nightstands and plenty of space more after that. So it's more than a kid would need, perfect for a teenager, definitely good enough for an adult. If you wanted to make like this rental space, you could probably do a kitchen down here, but I wouldn't want that. A shared bathroom for the kids. Working on a bathroom design. It's a little tiny, but it's a shared bathroom for kids. Still nicer than a kid should have, so. Bedroom number two. Oh, reading area. Plenty of sunlight in this bedroom. The most sunlight down in the basement. So your favorite kid goes down here. A guest suite. Plenty of room for bed, attached bathroom, decent closet, it's not walk-in, it's just a guest. Little recreation area, little office seating area. The only bit of light down in this room, unfortunately, because in the back, there is not going to be any space for that, there's, a, there's land, so, yeah. I believe that's all I have changed since last video. Messaging me on Facebook, it's annoying. Yeah. Mm. The back is an utter mess because we've just been tearing apart the house. So, yeah, there's nothing to really show out here. Let's just take a look at the house. This is the view from the back. Planter. Um, there's still no framing around the windows here, but whatever yet. Kind of like how the kitchen looks from the outside, the kitchen dining area. Bedroom from the outside with the balcony. The bathroom from the outside. More of the entertainment area. The guest suite you can see, the guest bathroom. Wait, if you have privacy issues, don't come to my place. <laughs> Child's bedroom number one, the biggest one, the favorite child. And the sunroom. In the main cabin area. With the most light. My favorite tree, the weeping willow, with its pond to keep it nourished well. Oh, um, the lawn has a grade to it now. So if it ever rained, the water would flow away from the house into the pond. Keeping the basement dry and safe, hopefully. Front of the house. And then the kitchen and garage and garden area of the house. The roof. Tesla cup, or Tesla, wow. Tesla tiles, solar. Still plenty of work to do. Plenty of time to do it, hopefully. Yeah, that's about it. Thanks for having a look, guys. Okay, that's the video.